So this is Daisy's self-portrait. It's very lifelike. Her birthday is 19th of February. And Damien's going to explain what happens next. Okay. Right. Go for it, Damien. So, you boot up all resume. You need to click at the bottom here to go to the menu. Okay, and we want to add a new video. Uh, so we go to the plus button here. Now you have the option of library or device. Because the video is saved on the device, we click device. And to add a new video, you go to the plus button at the top here. Okay, and because our video of Daisy is recorded in the photo album, we'll click on the photo album. And look, here we see um, in videos, we have Daisy's video. Okay, to select this, we click use. Okay, and now we have to name our overlay. So, for simplicity, let's call it Daisy. Well, press enter, and there we go. Now, what you have to do next is find Daisy's video in our list here. Now, because we've made many, many auras, we have many, many names. If it's your first video, it'll be the first one you'll see. Let's scroll down. And there we go, we found Daisy's video. So you click on it, and to confirm, you press select. Now we choose our trigger image. So we point our camera at Daisy's portrait. Now here is a little bar to see how well recognized the photo is. So you want to aim for yellow to green here, hold it still, and click the camera button in the bottom right. If it works, yeah, it shows up. Now you can resize the video here uh, so it fits this, so it fits the trigger image. And once you're happy with the size of your video, you press next. Okay. Now you want to make this public if you want to be able to share this and use it for you to be able to view it on other devices. Uh, you also want to add it to a channel, so we'll add ours to Luna International. And again, we need to name our new aura, so again, let's name it Daisy. Okay, once you're happy with all your settings, click Finish. Okay, and it takes a little time before it's ready to be used. Okay, so now. If we point our iPad at Daisy's face, ta-da! Now if you double click, it goes full screen and you can remove the image from the trigger. <coughs> okay. And there you go, how to make your first aura. From analog to digital.